For the team at Canadensis Aerospace, Thursday's moon landing was a moment to celebrate. Seeing their hard work reach the lunar surface opens new possibilities for their equipment. Excited as we are about this uh, landing tonight, we're looking forward to the coming week to actually be doing some of the, uh, the, the science and, and engineering on the lunar surface. The corporation provided two cameras that are part of the Intuitive Machines Lunar Lander and five that are part of two commercial payloads. After making it through the flight, one of the systems will collect images of the center of the Milky Way galaxy from the moon. It's part of a partnership with the International Lunar Observatory Association. The moon has uh, crazy harsh conditions. You know, nighttime temperatures that are minus 200 Celsius, daytime temperatures that are uh, plus 100 Celsius. Canadensis is one of two Canadian companies that are part of this mission. These are also the first Canadian space agency funded technologies that have reached the lunar surface since the Apollo missions. The second organization, MDA, developed landing sensors that helped the spacecraft determine the distance to the moon during its descent. The Nova Sea Lander, known as Odysseus, is the first commercial spacecraft to safely touch down on its surface. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. Odysseus is part of NASA's commercial lunar payload service, where the administration is contracting private businesses to offer transportation as it looks to use the moon as a launch pad. Today is a day that shows the power and promise of NASA's commercial partnerships. Canada's space sector is at the forefront as more funding and research filters through to explore beyond the moon. And the systems that are on this mission now, we're, as we're learning more about them, uh, the hardware but also the operational lessons we learn, we're applying those in future missions. The 14-foot tall carbon fiber and titanium spacecraft is solar powered and is expected to run for a week until lunar night begins. Kyle Benning, Global News.